I'm obsessed with her. Everything she makes looks so delicious. She's known as the pasta queen, and the only thing bigger than her love of pasta is her personality. Italian-born chef and entrepreneur Nadia Caterina Muno built a huge social media following, professing her love of pasta, sharing recipes. Did you know it? I am so excited. I am actually dying that you were here. I Thank you so much, Rosanna. You have gotten me through some really tough times over the last year or so. Thank you. And, Thank and, you. And your recipes, easy and yes. delicious. Just like Italy. Just easy and delicious. And I didn't realize this, Nadia, that you really, um, well, your family has been in the food business for a very long time. Yeah, I mean, we've been farmers since the 1600s. And then specifically in the pasta making business since the 1800s. Now, does your family still make pasta? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Is it a, a brand name that we know or do Just they... Just the family name, Muno. Muno. Yeah, my last name. But they are the one of the biggest supporters of the region agriculture with their, you know, vineyards and wheat crops and produce. So we're in the... We're huge foodies. So how did you become the pasta queen? I discovered TikTok. Um, I was trying to delete it off of my daughter's, eight-year-old daughter's phone. <laughs> and I ended up seeing a blasphemous lasagna, someone claiming to be making the perfect lasagna. How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> I was like, this is offensive to generations of nonnas that have worked so hard to keep the tradition alive. So instead of deleting it, I became addicted. And it was so easy to edit uh, for TikTok with my phone that as a mother, it was the easiest thing to do to film my recipes that I would do daily for the kids and my husband and just post it. And then they started going viral. And I was like, OK, this is getting serious. Yes, it's yeah. very serious. Yes, I wasn't expecting it. Well, I have to say, uh, like I said, I'm just obsessed with your videos. We have another one, one of my favorites, because the food, the recipes, you make them simple, and the food is delicious. Uh, just take a look at one of Nadia's recipes. Look at that. Layers of gorgeousness, just like you are. Today, we're making Nonna's lasagna. <laughs> Ingredients. The way you start with the lasagna is simply by putting a little bit of sauce at the bottom. Put your first layer of pasta sheets, and then more sauce, shredded boiled eggs. Look at this, doesn't it look incredible? Now you go with the bechamel. Ah, uh, it looks so delicious and I'm not afraid of cheese at all. Obviously, you love your cheese too. So we have to talk because you do have some, you know, moves. Yeah, I got the moves. You got the moves? From my nonna. From your nonna? Yes. So, ingredients. I mean, uh, how do we do that exactly? First, you're going to tell yourself you're gorgeous. Because that's it's not what working. Okay. Everything <laughs> clicks once you know you're gorgeous. OK. Then you go like that, super flurry. Super flurry. And then okay. three, two, one. Ingredients. ingredients. Did you use your hand or you just flipped it? You just go like uh, for a bit of extra sauce. OK. Just ingredients. ingredients. And yes. even the shoulder a little bit, you know? OK. You got to be very, you know, yeah, Italian. No. Italian. And then you, it's gorgeous. I mean, how do we? Just like you are. Like you are. Mm. I, I, first of all, is your family like so happy with what you've done? My nonnas don't quite understand how big this has gotten because <laughs> now it's basically like a movement. Yeah. Uh, but they know they're part of my book. They're in my book. I know. We got to talk about the book because yes. the book is right here. Um, and you have a book tour. It's a just gorgeous book tour. Of course. And the book is gorgeous. Thank you. I was showing my sister yesterday. I'm like, Every page you want to make the recipe, and we learn a little bit more about your family. Yes. And I just, I loved it. Th these are like traditional recipes, Authentic right? Italian recipes. Authentic. And then towards the end, the chapter on pasta renaissance, I do a little signature dishes that are a little bit more, you know, structured and fun. Right. But still very traditional. 
Okay, so where can people see you? I know you're on tour here. Let me see. I think Today, I tonight at 6 p.m., I'll be in Short Hills, New Jersey. Oh. Um, doing a book signing at Williams Sonoma. Oh, th it's lovely there. It's lovely, yeah. right? Yes. I'm going to be there doing some shopping as well. I heard it's a good, good shopping Good shopping. Mall. Good yes. shopping there, Nadia. So, um, and then I'm um, going off to Palm Beach, Florida on November 12th at oh. Williams Sonoma as well. Look at um, you. Yes, and then L.A. I um, am so happy that I finally met you. I've been so following you. Have, Thank you so much. Thank you for having the me. The book is unbelievable. Great recipes. It's called The Pasta Queen, a just gorgeous cookbook. Nadia Catarina Munno, grazie mille. Di niente, bella. I wish I could say something else. I don't know anything else but curse words. Say just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right.